Good morning, everybody. It is currently like maybe 11 in the morning on Sunday, May 26th. I decided I wanted to start another reading vlog. If you watch my previous reading vlog, you'll know that I was reading a high fantasy book called The Ruin of Kings, and I am still reading that. <laughs> I have not finished it. Um, this is the dust jacket right here. I'm still reading The Ruin of Kings. I am really enjoying it. It's just one of those fantasy novels where I have to pick up other things in between reading it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm still reading that. I have a couple days left in May still to try to finish my May TBR. I have only finished two of the books, I think. I've only finished two of the books. I started two of the other ones, and one of them is also An Unkindness of Ghosts by River Solomon. I'm halfway through this one. I have been halfway through this for a very long time. So my goal for this week is to finish those two books. I don't think I will. <laughs> and then the only other book that I haven't finished of my May TBR, I haven't even started it yet, it is The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chopsky. I have a desire to read this, so I might be picking this up very soon. Today, I think I want to focus on the two books I am currently reading, which is In the Kindness of Ghosts and The Ruin of Kings. Yeah, so this is the start of a new reading vlog. Um, please stay tuned for some more adventurous reading. <laughs> yeah, I will check back in with you guys after I get home from work. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is now Monday the 27th. I have to go to work in a few hours, but I've been doing some reading before that. I just got my makeup all done. Um, and yeah, I read a little bit last night. I read about 20 pages last night of the book that I'm currently reading. And I'm reading quite a bit more now. So last night I started out on page 190 of the book that I'm reading and now I'm on page 234 so I'm making a little bit of progress but yes the book is The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons really really enjoying it um, I talk about it a bit more about the first part of my reading adventure of this in my previous reading vlog which I will of course leave linked in the info card or wherever it is um, <laughs> yes one thing that I was kind of getting a suspicion of some pages ago, and I think it was just kind of, for the most part, confirmed. The main character is a boy, young man named Kyren. He's 16, I think, at this point. He's 15 or 16. He might be bisexual, and I'm like super, super excited about this. Um, you find out, like, towards the beginning of this that he's, of course, like, Typical boy, you know, attracted to women in the brothels and all that kind of stuff. He kind of grew up near a brothel, um, and he was always enjoying the company of women. Not so much in a sexual aspect, but in a um, kind of friendship way as well. However, he kind of started to be attracted to, in describing this um, man, who's kind of like, he's not really a man per se, he's a... Um, He's a type, uh, he's a race of a being, basically. And he, Kyren kind of describes him as being like, basically too good looking um, for his own good, for the most part. And just saying that he's, he's always like saying that he's really pretty and describing him as being really pretty. Cause we're reading from Kyren's kind of perspective. So like Kyren's the one that's telling the story. So you're getting his inner dialogue and he keeps basically saying how good looking this guy is. And it just so happened that they were kind of um, brawling and Kyren like grabbed the this other guy by the, by the collar and like kind of pushed him against a tree. And then you get that moment of he realized how close they were and how their bodies touched and how the other man's hands were on his hips and I'm just like here for it. I'm, I so hope that this book, I think this series is going to be like an eight book series. I, at least that's what I've read. The second one is coming out in October and so there's a lot of room for growth and things to happen and for relationships to blossom and I 
really, really hope that nothing happens to either one of these characters because I want them so badly to be together at this point. They're just so cute. I am back from work and I just came back in from having a little fire um, outside with my family and I had a hamburger it was delicious um, but yeah I'm going to you know take my makeup off I kind of look really trash <laughs> I'm going to take my makeup off and get into some pajamas um, I smell like smoke I should probably take a shower as well uh, but yeah, I wanted to update you guys real quick. I was able to read quite a bit. I made it to page 268 of The Ruin of Kings, The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. It's, I mean, I've been enjoying it from the beginning, but it is getting like really good now and really more in depth with characters and some mysteries are being answered. And things are happening and I'm really freaking enjoying it. I have tomorrow off from work and so I really hope to spend like all day reading. So I guess I will check back in with you guys tomorrow on Tuesday. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm out and about right now, um, just doing some real quick running around. I sold some books on my Depop shop. Um, I will leave a link to that also down below. I'm selling some books in really good condition. Uh, US only though, because shipping's like really expensive. But yeah, I sold some books so I had to go ship those out. And then I stopped at Duncan and got nice coffee. And I passed the Dollar General on my way home and I forgot it was there. So I turned around and came back. I forget that the Dollar Store and Dollar General um, have books sometimes. And I found The House of Hades by Rick Riordan. This is the fourth book in his Heroes of Olympus series. I believe I own one through three. So I bought this one. Also, even if I own it, it's only two bucks that I got it for, guys. So yeah, it's in great condition. So I just decided to pick it up. So now I'm going to drive back home and get more reading done before the movie tonight, which will be around four, I think. So yeah, I'm gonna read until then. And then of course do my makeup because I look like shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later. Hey guys, so sorry about the lighting, but it's starting to get pretty dark. It's also raining, so I also didn't feel like putting on any more lights in my room. But I'm in my pajamas back home. I went and saw Aladdin, and guys, it was so good. Like, I really, really enjoyed it. The music was good. I liked how they pretty much kept the exact same storyline. A few little things were different, but like nothing were like, well, it's a different story. But Oh, it was so good. I really enjoyed it. It was weird, but it was also like the original Aladdin is weird. Like, <laughs> uh, Genie, Will Smith as Genie, I thought was going to be kind of not great, but he was so good. Guys, it was so good. It had its funny parts, it had its sweet parts, and the music, like I said, was just amazing. And I highly recommend you guys go see it because it was so freaking good. Anyway, let's catch you up on my reading. I am still reading The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. I'm now over halfway through. I've been reading a lot lately these past couple days. I'm now on page 305, but I'm really, really enjoying this lovely novel. And I am probably going to spend the rest of my night reading it. I don't feel like doing anything else, which is really good. Um, if I take a break, I'll probably watch The Bachelorette, <laughs> honestly. I've missed the last two episodes, I think. Yeah, the last two episodes. Uh, so I'll watch The Bachelorette if I get bored, 
with a reading or need a break or something like that, but yeah. ice cream place. I already started to eat it. It's pistachio. It's delicious. Got a drink. And then I got pizza from my favorite pizza place. I started to eat that as well. <laughs> yeah, I am going to devour everything. Hey guys, so I don't even remember when the last time I checked in with you all was, but it is currently Thursday, May 30th, and it's like 11.30 at night, so it's almost May 31st. I just wanted to catch you up on my reading. I did finish a book today. I finished The Ruin of Kings. I did want to mention that I am still currently reading An Unkindness of Ghosts by River Solomon. I mentioned this in my previous vlog and it is one of the books that I wanted to read in May and now I only have one day to finish it. I have, let's see how many pages I have left. Let's, I'm on 200, page 206 right now and there are 349 pages in this book um so i honestly could probably finish it um tomorrow so we'll see how it all goes but yeah i'm going to now get back to reading and then i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow and talk more about the ruin of kings because boy let me tell you that book is probably one of my favorite books of all time now something to look forward to <laughs> guys um i know i look kind of ridiculous i got out of the shower not too long ago had lunch and all that and i'm still reading an unkindness of ghosts by river solomon almost done with it as you can see but i just got to this where a character came up named cassidy spelled exactly like my name and i just wanted to mention that because i never find characters who are named my name as well as even being the same spelling so I just think it's really cool like see if you can see that right up there <laughs> that's really cool hey guys so it is now currently Friday May 31st the last day of May 
Um, I am about to go to work. I have my uniform on um, and I have to leave in like 10 minutes. So I just wanted to real quick update you guys on my reading so far this week. Ugh, I'm reaching for my books here. Um, so first of all, I finished The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. A high fantasy novel and let me tell you that this is definitely one of my favorite books of all time at this point it is so good and I cannot believe that it is Jen Lyons debut novel like she effortlessly created a world that you can just dive into and it is just so amazing with so many incredible characters both good and bad like I love the villains in this one as well it is just so well done and she really pushes the boundaries of what makes fantasy fantasy like I freaking loved this book um, like amazing I think at the beginning of this week I was halfway through it and I was able to fly through the last bit it was so good this one came out I think earlier this year and then the second one comes out in October and I am so freaking excited for this like you have no freaking clue how excited I am for that second one. This is a 5 out of 5 star read. I will probably go into more depth about it in my wrap up video and I really think I want to do an actual full length video review for this novel. But I freaking loved it. Then not too long ago, literally like half an hour ago, I was able to finish An Unkindness of Ghosts by River Solomon. This is an adult sci-fi novel um, set in the future on a spaceship called Matilda. It follows our main character named Aster and she pretty much sets about a revolution and I somewhat enjoyed this novel like I enjoyed it in the beginning but I think I don't know really I think it was a lot of the lingo and the sci-fi this the science words that got me because of course it's sci-fi so there should be more science in it and there is a lot in this but I think because I've never read such a epic science fiction novel that I guess it kind of took away from the story for me for a little bit and also I don't I I don't really like that the revolution part only took place in the last like 30 pages I gave this book three out of five stars and I, I don't know I kind of I guess that's why it took me so long to read this I've been reading this for like two months now and I guess it's because when I hit that halfway point it was just kind of going downhill for me I did finish this one as well so I was able to finish two books this week and my week is not done yet because it is Friday it's the 31st um, I also have tomorrow and Sunday off but I think I'll end the vlog on Sunday but since I have one more day left in May I wanted to try to at least start my final book of my May TBR, which is The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chotsky. So this one I'll be taking to work with me, and if it's slow, I can dive into this. It would be a miracle if I finished it all in one day, which I have seven hours of work from two to nine. So if it's not busy, I can read. If it's busy, I won't be able to finish it, but maybe I can start it. <laughs> so I was just taking the dust jacket off of The Gilded Wolves, and I realized that the inside it's like freaking gorgeous look at that it has the eye and then the eiffel tower is there because it's set in paris oh my god that's so beautiful <laughs> hey guys so i just got home from work today got a little busy because it was friday so i didn't get to read as much as i wanted to at work but i did read some and i'm going to read more now i'm reading the gilded wolves by roshani Chotsky. like i said i would love the cover yeah, I made it to, let's see, I made it to chapter 4, page 36. Uh, so far we've been introduced to quite a few characters. I want uh, five, six characters that might hit, play a big role in this novel. Um, and I love large casts of characters, so I'm really looking forward to uh, the rest of the story. I will say that the, this sort of magic in here is pretty interesting, and I... I do like how it's taking place in Paris, so that's a lot of fun. But I'm going to continue reading, read for the rest of the night, and tomorrow I do not work, so I will probably read more tomorrow. However, tomorrow is also June 1st, and I do want to film my June TBR, and I also want to edit it and upload it and get it uploaded tomorrow as well. 
this is a lot. By the time this is up, that will already be up for sure. Like, this is probably gonna be up in a, a week after. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna wash my face, this disgustingness off, and I'm gonna read for the rest of the night. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so now it's Saturday, it's June 1st. I just finished filming two videos, my June TBR and my May wrap up. Um, about, I'm about to edit my June TBR and have it uploaded today. And I think tomorrow I'll upload my May wrap up instead of the vlog that I originally planned on uploading. Just to get them out into the world uh, in a timely manner. <laughs> yeah, I also uh, had some Greek yogurt with some lemon juice in it because I, I read that it's supposed to help boost your metabolism and I'm trying to lose some weight and I think it's because of my metabolism a lot of the time. And then once I edit this video and upload it, I am going to do a workout and then the rest of my day will be free to read my books. I'm excited. I feel like I can be very productive today. I don't work today and I don't work tomorrow. I will mention actually later today I'm going to watch Always Be My Maybe with my sister because it looks so freaking good. It's on Netflix. It was raining earlier but it looks like it's supposed to be a good day now. It looks sunny so maybe I'll go out by my pool which we finally got fixed and it looks all good and uh, I'm excited. <laughs> all right, I'll catch in with you guys later. Hey guys, I just finished my workout and it's still a beautiful day and so instead of showering right away, I'm gonna go out to my pool. Got my book right here, got my water bottle, I'm already in my bathing suit. I'm gonna go out by my pool. It's probably, the pool water is still probably too cold to actually swim in it, but I'm gonna at least sunbathe a little bit because it's beautiful. Um, and maybe jump in the pool. Gotta be brave, you know? <laughs> oh god. Oh! Fucking freezing! <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> oh my god, it's so cold! Just walking around outside, following my cat, and I looked down, and I found a four-leaf clover. Oh my god! Good luck. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm back inside from spending some time out by my pool. I went in the pool twice. The water was like oh, 50 something. It was very cold. I went in anyway <laughs> and I did have some wine and I had a pina colada that my dad made me um, it was very nice and relaxing and then I went in search of my cat because we had her outside for a little bit and I wanted to make sure that she got in when we were coming in and while I was outside following her speak of the devil hello oh good girl <laughs> Um, while I was outside following her around, I bent down to a batch, a patch of four leaf clo or patch of clovers, and I found a four leaf clover. It's very small, very itty bitty, but I found it, and I've never found one before in my entire life. So hopefully, good luck is on my side and on the way, because your girl needs some right now. But yeah, I'm going to now take a shower, get off the sunscreen and the sweat and the chlorine off of my body and then do some reading probably afterwards. But it's been a very good day so far today, I have to say. <laughs> hey everyone, so it is now Sunday the 2nd and it's been a full week since I started my reading vlog so today I'm going to end my reading vlog. 
Um, let me just update you. I did a little bit more reading yesterday, last night, of The Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chakshi. Uh, I'm on like page 108 or something like that. So I'm gonna be reading that today. But I just went to Barnes & Noble on a special quest mission thing. It's That vlog stuff is not going in this vlog because I wanted to do a whole separate Barnes & Noble vlog for that. But I'll give you a little sneak peek. I went specifically because my Barnes & Noble, they said online that they had The Wicked King by Holly Black. The exclusive collector's edition from Barnes & Noble, like this sold out everywhere else, but they had it and I got it. So I went specifically for that. And yes, I totally just hit my glasses with my book. But yeah, I specifically, spe <laughs> can't talk. I specifically went to get this. They had it. I'm so excited. Um, and I did pick up two other books, but you can go check those out in my Barnes & Noble vlog that is probably going to be up before this one. So now I'm going to put this one on my shelf. I'm so excited. All right, so that is the end of this reading vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. I have links to all my social medias in the description box down below. I also have a Depop shop up with books that I'm selling on there. I'm, do I'm currently doing a buy two, get the third free. If you want to check that out <laughs> um yeah and i ship through media mail and it's us only shipping so anyway i hope you all enjoyed the video this video please like comment subscribe do all that fun youtube stuff and i will see you all next time bye